So the district has set up a new way for us to be able to email parents uh, using PowerSchool. Uh, and it actually uses our current system that we use for administrators called School Messenger. Um, and the way it works is through the PowerSchool web login. Now, first of all, you have to use either Chrome or Firefox. Uh, it does not work currently in Safari. So, um, sorry, Safari users, I feel your pain. But once I'm logged into uh, either Chrome or Firefox into my gradebook, there is now an option on the left that says Message Sender. And when I click on that, it's going to load and it's going to give me some options. Now, so here I get to choose uh, what the subject of my message is going to be. So if I'm going to send an email to parents, um, this is where I would type in the subject of that email. And then I can choose what type of message this is. This is going to be a teacher message. We, you don't have permission to send emergency uh, notifications for snow days and things like that. Uh, and then down here at the bottom, you can control who is going to receive this message. So I'm going to add message recipients. And from here, there's an option that says class section. So if I hit class sections, this will show me all of the different sections I teach. So I can choose my school. Uh, if you teach in more than one school, you'll have more than one. Otherwise, you'll only have one option. And then from there, it'll show you all of your sections. I can either click up here and select all. Uh, to select all of them, or I could choose one specific hour like this, and then I tell it to add those recipients. And it generates that automatically. Now, a couple cool things here. Um, it does show me uh, that it has 17 people who are going to get emailed. The email addresses that are in here are the email addresses that parents added when they registered um, for their... Uh, their student for school. So every year when a student or a parent does registration, this is the email address that they're entering. So hopefully it is the most up-to-date email address that we have for a parent. And if there is a mistake, they need to contact the secretary of their building to get that updated. Um, it also tells me that 15 of these uh, participants requested English as their main language, and two of them requested Spanish. More on that in a second. So now that I have my participants all or recipients all entered in here, I'm ready to go ahead and hit continue. Uh, if I wanted to, I could X this out. I could also save this list for later, or I could actually preview this list, which will actually show me all of the names and addresses on who's going to receive this information. Uh, you'll also notice in here, when I look at a parent, it'll tell me whether or not it's going to be sent to phone numbers or SMS. If a parent has opted in for text messages, um, then those options are going to show up in here as well, uh, meaning that they will receive text messages at the same time. All right, so now I'm going to hit continue. And now I have the ability to either send a parent an email out or an SMS text message. So I could choose to email uh, and have the ability to simply compose my message the way I normally would. Or I could send them a text message instead. Uh, the text message does have a limit to 160 characters, uh, and it does not let you send images or PDFs or anything along those lines. So depending on what it is that you're sending or what type of information you need to send, you can choose which um, information is sent out each way. Now, it's also important to point out that, again, if a parent has not opted in for text messages, they are not going to receive it. So we need to make sure that um, email is probably the most widely um, accessible view uh, for most parents to be able to receive it. So when I go to email, so I can give a reply to email in here if I don't want it to be my district email um, for some reason. Um, I could also choose again to change that subject and then I have a basic editor. This looks like the rich content editor that exists in um, Canvas. It gives me the ability to change font size colors. Um, it does have the ability to attach files to it if I wanted to. I can insert pictures, I can insert links, tables, um, and so on. So a pretty basic uh, email editor. Um, I can go in here, type in my message. Now, before I hit save, one last thing I'm gonna do here is there is a box here that says translate. And what this will do is this will add translations of your message to anyone who requests your message in a different language. So 
uh, back on that first page, I showed that we had two people who requested uh, Spanish for their um, preferred language for PowerSchool. So if I tell it to translate just by checking this box, then it is going to send the translation in any number of these um, translations based on what language they need. So I don't have to do anything other than um, check that box, but whatever, I, uh, whatever languages that needed to be sent will be sent in the appropriate language to those people. So I could uncheck the boxes of the languages I don't want, or I could just leave it um, for those parents either way. So now that I'm finished, I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. And now it tells me green check mark, my email's ready to be sent. Now from here, I could move on to SMS and send something via email and SMS at the same time, um, or I could just leave it as email, it's up to you. Um, so I'm gonna hit continue. And then from here, I can choose when that email is gonna be sent out. So right now by default, again, it's gonna to go to 17 people, it's gonna come via email. Um, I can get a report of this job when it has been sent to let me know. Uh, it will skip any duplicate email or phone numbers in here by default. And I could tell it to save the content if I wanted to do that. Now, uh, when I'm ready to send it, I can either send this message now, which sends it literally as I speak, or I could schedule it, which allows me to choose exactly when I want this message to be sent. That is the new uh, message sender tool using School Messenger in PowerSchool.